Hi friends, welcome to today's class. So today's question is, 400 gram of sugar solution has 40% sugar in it. How much sugar should be added to make it 50% in the solution? So here you can see some 40% of sugar solution is getting combined with sugar so that the resultant we are getting a 50% sugar solution. So that's what we can analyze from the question. 40% of sugar solution getting added with more sugar so as to get a 50% sugar solution as the resultant. And the quantity of this sugar solution is already given. It's 400 gram. So we are required to find out how much sugar is to be added so that the resultant will be 50%. So here we can see a combination is taking place. The combination of two ingredients are done so as to get a resultant mixture. So we can use the rule of allegation. So we know by the rule of allegation if two ingredients X and Y are mixed together to form Z then the proportion of X is to Y will be given by the difference between Y and Z. So let it be W and the difference between X and Z let it be B. So W is the difference between Y and Z and B is the difference between X and Z. It is not necessarily Y minus Z and it is not necessarily X minus Z. It is only denoting the difference between Y and Z and the difference between X and Z respectively. So here by applying the rule of allegation, the 40% sugar solution is getting added with sugar. So what will be the quantity of sugar in the sugar which is going to be added? So that is the tricky part here. So we are adding sugar only. So sugar only means it will be having 100% of sugar. There is no water. We are adding only sugar to it. So it will be having 100% of sugar. So this is having 40% of sugar. So both are getting combined together to form a mixture which is having 50% of sugar. So double check whether all the three quantities are representing the same thing. Here we can see 40% is representing the percentage of sugar in the first, first solution. And 100% is representing the quantity of sugar in the sugar which is getting added. It is only pure sugar. So it will be having 100% of sugar. And the resultant mixture is having 50% of sugar. So all the three are representing the percentage of sugar. So we can very well use the rule of allegation. So we will be getting the proportion as the difference between 50 and 100 is 50 and the difference between 50 and 40 is 10. Therefore the proportion is 5 is to 1. So we already know the quantity of 40% sugar solution. It is 400 gram. We have to find out the quantity of sugar that is to be added. So let it be x. So we have 400 is to x is equal to 5 is to 1. So from there we can find out x is equal to 80 grams. So that is the answer to our question. So 80 grams of sugar is to be added to 400 gram of 40% sugar solution. So that we will be getting the resultant mixture which is 50% sugar solution. Now let's see a second example. 49 liters of milk has 80% milk concentration. How much water be added to make its concentration 70%? So we are having some 80% milk solution and we are adding water so that the resultant will be having 70% milk solution. So what amount of water should be added? So as to convert an 80% milk solution to a 70% milk solution. So that's the question here. So quantity of 80% milk solution is given. It's 49 liters. And we have to find out the quantity of water. So let it be X. So here also a combination is taking place. The milk solution and the water are combined together to form a resultant solution. So we can use the rule of allegation. So let's apply the rule of allegation. So we are having 80% milk solution and we are going to add water. So how much milk will be present in the water that is going to be added? Since water is added, 
it will be having zero percentage of milk so the most important point to note is that for applying the rule of allegation all the three quantities must be representing the same thing so here this is representing the amount of milk it's a percentage of milk 80 percentage milk and water is getting added water is not having any milk so it is only having zero percentage of milk so we should write zero here so 80 percentage of milk solution is getting added with zero percentage of milk solution that is water in order to get a 70 percentage milk solution this is 49 liters and this is x liters we have to find out what is x so as per rule of allegation here it will be the difference between 70 and 0 that is 70 and here the difference between 70 and 80 that is 10 so the required proportion is 70 is to 10 that is 7 is to 1 so we got 49 is to x 49 liters is to x liters is equal to 7 is to 1 therefore we have x is equal to 7 liters so 7 liters of water must be added so as to convert an 80 percentage of milk solution to the 70 percentage of milk solution so let's see one more example 6 liters of milk and water mixture has 75 percentage milk in it how much milk should be added to make the mixture 90 percentage pure so here some 75 percentage of milk is getting added with more milk in order to make the mixture 90 percentage pure that means it will be having 90 percentage of milk in it so this is given as 6 liters and how much milk is to be added so let it be given by x so here we are having combination of 75 percentage of milk solution and milk in order to get a resultant solution so we can use the rule of allegation so 75 percentage of milk is getting combined with milk so it is 100 percentage of milk we are adding only milk we are not adding any water it is pure milk therefore it is 100 percentage of milk so they are combined together to get 90 percentage so by applying the rule of allegation we have to write the difference of 90 and 100 10 the difference of 75 and 90 is 15 Therefore, the proportion is given as 10 is to 15, that is 2 is to 3. This is 6 liters and we have to find out the quantity of milk that is to be added, that is x. So, the proportion is given as 6 is to x is equal to 2 is to 3. So, therefore, x is equal to 6 by x is equal to 2 by 3, that means x is equal to 9 liters. So, 9 liters of milk should be added to the 75 percentage of milk solution so as to get a 90 percentage pure milk solution. So, thank you for watching.